The Incredibles 2. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're about to hop into another movie reaction, The Incredibles 2, sequel to one of my favorite Pixar films that I've watched so far. The Incredibles was definitely, definitely one of my favorites. Brad Bird, love all his work, tracing all the way back to The Simpsons. Now it looks like he's writing and directing the sequel. Can't wait to hop into it. But if you haven't already, um, I've reacted to the Pixar short Jack Jack Attack. If you haven't seen it already, you can just go ahead and check it out um, either before or after you watch this video. But um, before we hop in, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, we're about to hop into it. I think, I mean, I'm not sure where the story could go. I'm just assuming. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, a, pro a proper superhero sequel in this case. I assume they're going to stop the attack at the end of the first movie and we're going to kind of maybe branch off into a new focus or storyline maybe a new villain will pop up well, i mean that has, has to happen so. um yeah i'm just excited let's just hop into it let's not waste any more time once again like comment share and subscribe let's uh hop into it and have a good time all right guys here we go If you had simply done nothing, everything would now be proceeding in an orderly fashion. Universe Jesus, Earth really? Nothing? Without a doubt. While you guys were being detained, I was approached by a dude who represents this tycoon. I checked him out. He's legit. Trained under Dicker. He wants to meet. Oh, trained under Dicker? Related? I love superheroes! The powers, the costumes, the mythic struggles! Winston Decker. You can call me Win. Genuine pleasure to meet you. And this... Oh, hello there, superheroes. I'm so sorry. ...is I'm my late. tardy sister, Evelyn. And I am... Father believed the world would be more dangerous without you. He didn't know how right he was. Superheroes had just been made illegal. The robbers discovered him on the phone and shot him. If superheroes had not been forced underground it never would have happened or dad could have taken mom to the safe room as soon as he knew there was trouble i disagree strongly but we're not going into it right now after that story i'm not sure if you can trust to make, help me make all supers legal again but this sounds great make supers legal again first assignment. That enthusiasm mm, okay well elastic girl is our best play you want to make a big crime fighting statement? You go where the crime is big. Strange thing to be excited about. But Gotham? It's like a superhero's playground. Wait, the train has stopped. It's going the wrong direction. I'm going after it. Wait. Is he not real? Mm. Yeah, it's like a. Story better be good. Wait, what? Hey. Hey. What happened? The screen slaver. Honey, why are Don't you? Don't say anything. Oh, what's wrong? Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. Did Violet get stood up? Hello. We're in a new house. I did write my address on your locker in permanent ink. Uh, do, do I know you? Seriously? Many say your speech Wait, what's going on? Both sides why, why, was, what? It was Dicker! You told them about Tony! Honey! You had to- <laughs> Go. So when they erase memories, how much memory is lost? I hate superheroes and I renounce them. Hey, hey it's working. Hey, the okay, that's all good. Today. The hey, hey, that got good impression on them. Who for sure. Them? That's I'm Bob Odenkirk. All over the world. Media world yep, I can hear him now. Percent. What I can do um, is this. That's going to come in handy later. You're tech savvy. I need to lock onto a signal and trace its origin. I can get your contraption together by 5 a.m. I need to get on TV. 
Chad, I'll get my brother to set up an exclusive with him tonight on the newscast. Boom! Boom. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. Did Dad do this on purpose? Uh. Nice to meet you. Where did she go? To find a good place to be angry? Hypnotism, right. <laughs> don't fuck. I don't know why that scared me. Find anything. Oh shit. God. Two minutes. Ugh. What happened? I want to thank everyone that came out tonight in support of superheroes and bringing them back into society. Leaders from more than a hundred of the world's top countries have agreed to make superheroes legal again. Okay. We'll gather superheroes and leaders from all over the planet on our boat, the Ever Just, for a televised signing ceremony at sea. That boat's totally not going to be hijacked by the villain at all. Look at that. One of Screenslaver's monitors is tuned into my suit camera. What? All Screenslaver needs to do to hypnotize someone is get a screen in front of their eyes. What if the pizza guy is really a pizza guy, but it was controlled by the screens built into his class? Oh, oh, fuck. Good. You're right. Okay, so it's her. The last girl's captured. Now hypnotized. Bad guy's revealed. I would resist the temptation to stretch. The temperature around you is well below freezing. Try to stretch and you'll break. Break. So Oof. You're the screen slaver. Are you gonna kill me? Nah, using you is better. You're gonna help me make supers illegal forever. Hello? Elastigirl's in trouble. What? What happened to her? Sorry to tell you on the phone. Meet me on our ship at DevTech. Lucius, Bob, Helen's in trouble. I need someone to watch the kids. Hey! Nice. Spread out! Ice types meet flying types. Pokemon reference. Oh, shit. No. Okay. Oh, he's gonna get caught. Oh, he's caught. Physically fine, but she's had an encounter with Screenslaver and she's acting kind of strange. Helen, it's me. Oh, oh shit. Did not see that come. Incredible. Take us to Dev Tech. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. Nope. Nope. Was that one, supposed to be a reference a to Ratatouille? Because anyone can cook. It is done. The world is super again. Group photo, everyone. Squeeze in. That's it. Historic occasion. <laughs> everyone smile. Oh shit. Mayday! 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 Hold. Let him talk. Superheroes have forcibly taken the bridge. Smart plan. Making everyone hate the heroes. That was no! easy. <laughs> oh, smart. I think Void has the coolest powers. Mm. Pop, pop. Portal, come on. Reputations of superheroes are ruined. You will never become legal. Ever. Never? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ever? No. God. Everyone, we need to get 
the back of the ship. All supers protect your ambassador. Mm. Uh, where do you think you're going? That was intense. Cool. And there's a lot of heroes now. You guys got the next shift. I'm cheat. I saw what you did back there. That was incredible. I mean, no pun intended. Sorry, Ed. Oh, they're friends now. And in recognition of the extraordinary service they have demonstrated, the legal status of superheroes is hereby restored. <laughs> Tony, this is my mom. Pleased to meet you. This is my dad. Oh, we've met. And this is embarrassing. Charles, I'm sure. And my little brother Dash. And the baby is Jack Charles. So you guys are close, I guess. Yeah, I guess. We can get closer. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here we go. Perfect superhero ending. Here, large popcorn, small soda, same as seat, center, body, rose back. I'll be back before the previews are over. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that was The Incredibles 2. I like that movie. I like that. It was a good uh, follow up sequel. And throughout the whole time, I kept thinking this could easily be a live action movie. Like, I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the characters. I felt like it was very grounded in reality and as far as a, a superhero, an animated superhero uh, movie goes. So I, I really enjoyed all of that. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a solid story. I don't know if I liked it more than the first one. I thought it was really good. I mean, it was a perfect follow-up story to the first one. Now, you know, I was trying to get the superheroes back. Let's make them legal again. You know, which is, you know, it's quite a slogan you could have. It's, um, but anyways, I, I, it was really neat uh, hearing Bob Odenkirk play a voice of character in this. I really enjoyed his uh, portrayal of Saul Goodman in Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. Um, in this, I did like his character of Winston. So, you know, there was that. I, I was kind of sad we didn't get to see more of Mr. Dickers. Is that his name? Played by Jonathan Banks. Which I didn't catch that that's Mike. That's the voice actor who plays Mike. You know, in Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. I didn't catch that in the first one. I don't know why I didn't catch that, but overall, I thought the movie was really good. Um, the villain was solid. I thought that she was different enough to kind of warrant her own story. Like, at first, I was like, oh, could it be her or her brother? Could it be them together? That, um, you know, they're, you know, in on it together, but, you know, they're just playing both sides, try to make sure to, so they both get what they want, but it wasn't like that. You know, the brother was the more of the naive one, the one that was nostalgic for the past. And they had, of course, they had their own traumatic story, you know, from the from the start, you know, with their parents dying because of a break in and how his dad would rather go to a super rather than getting his family to a safe room. So all that setup was really good. It was your typical setup for like bad guy stuff. But overall, I enjoyed the movie a lot. Um, I wish we kind of got to see a little more E or Edna. Kind of wanted to see Kari back, but there was a lot like I really enjoyed about this movie. And even though it kind of took things in a different direction, like it focused more on mom this time around. And, you know, uh, I thought that was a really neat and kind of like flip of the traditional gender roles. You know, mom goes out and works, dad's at home with the kids. And then at the end, it's the kids that have to come save the day. And yeah, I thought it worked. That was a really, really good movie. Um, as far as two additional movies that we could vote on for the next reaction, that's the only thing I just came unprepared for. I don't really have two movies in mind that we could either vote one or the other. So I'm just going to leave that up to you guys in the comments. 
if you have two movies that you want to see me react to just comment them in the comments down below make sure you like the video subscribe share it so you know exactly you know when i'm gonna drop another video so yeah i really enjoyed this a lot hopefully they're campaigning for a three because now we have a whole array of different characters that um it felt like i was watching you know justice league at the end. that's exactly what it felt it felt like i was watching justice league unlimited with all with our main heroes and we have all the heroes in the background like i feel like we're in a, a a really solid spot right here to create a third and final movie in this incredible trilogy so hopefully there is a third movie coming let me know if it's a thing or not but yeah outside of that really enjoyed the movie if you enjoyed my reaction be sure to like comment share and subscribe get out of here and i'll talk to you later all right guys see ya